An Edmonton MP is pushing to have a Caribbean hotspot join Canada. Peter Goldring is once again exploring the idea that Turks and Caicos should become our nation's 11th province. The British territory has a population of 30,000 and includes 40 islands and Cays. The idea was first discussed in 1917 and most recently in 2004. Now joining us now is Member of Parliament for Edmonton East, Peter Goring. Mr. Goring, thank you so much for coming in. Very pleased to be here. So I guess the big question, why Turks and Caicos? Why the focus on this, uh, this area? Well, Turks and Caicos, I, I've done a lot of work in the Caribbean. I've visited to 15 or 16 of the different countries and had a long time interest in it. But particularly with the Turks and Caicos, they're uh, a, a British territory. It's a similar mm -hmm. government. They've come to Canada three times indicating that they wanted to join. In the last, uh, uh, oh, 10 years, I would say that I've been involved with it. Uh, I've had many, many indications and even a phone call today from them saying that they're very interested in doing much more with Canada in the region and offering to Canada a platform of engagement in a duty uh, seaport, okay. deep water seaport for transshipment throughout the area. So it's a it works both ways. It's a huge benefit for both Canada and for the islands. Do you think, uh, you know, this time around uh, it's a more realistic goal or do you think there's still a lot of hurdles to pass? Well, I think first you enter into this very, very serious engagement in uh, economic uh, uh, partnerships and social partnerships. Let's see where that goes. And of course, like any serious engagement, we know it can maybe lead to permanency. Mm -hmm. All right, so obviously a lot of politics involved in this issue. So let's segue to uh, the situation in Ottawa. Um, a big day today with Vic Taves announcing his resignation, I guess. Uh, you know, what's, what's the mood? What's the pulse like, uh, like right now in Ottawa? Oh, I think it's good. I mean, this is a natural progression. Uh, Vic has been a member there for a number of years. Uh, we're coming up and everybody is deciding are they going to be running again? He's been a cabinet minister for a good number of years, and I'll tell you, that's a lot of uh, tough territory to cover for that number of years, mm -hmm. too. So uh, he has a, a life that he can go back to in his legal system that he's been involved in, and uh, I wish him well, and yeah. that's just a natural progression. So a lot of focus on your career here locally um, with uh, what you've been through and the recent acquittal. I guess, you know, a chance to speak to residents, to your constituents. What do you want to say to them? Well, I want to say that, uh, and I'm doing this in publications, and I'm doing this by, uh, I have, trying to get an appointment with the chief of police right now. Okay. I want to review with him some of the things that I think can help people and prevent this from happening to other people. Obviously, it wasn't just one simple point for the acquittal. It was four to five different points. Mm -hmm. And all of these are tied together with, largely, with the evidence that you're giving. And I'm a firm believer that if the police were to wear the audiovisual recording or have audiovisual recording in their okay. police cars as they do have in other jurisdictions, this would never have gone to court. Okay. So there's many things like this, as well as an awareness for the general public on what does it mean? What are we talking about? I mean, in my case, it was clearly a situation the court rendering even said. It wasn't a matter of impairment. It, that wasn't the discussion at all. The discussion was whether I would obey that order or not. And I felt I had a very good reason for not doing so. And it was proven in court, not just in one issue, but in three or four or five different issues. Okay, well, thank you so much, Mr. Goldring, for joining us today on these my multiple pleasure. issues. Uh, very nice to have you in. Okay, good to be here.